YouTube TV is my number one pick for first time cord cutters and in today's video I'm going to explain why and help you decide if it's right for you. Hey it's Michael welcome to the channel and the most popular article I've ever written was a YouTube TV review for Clark Howard's website. But now I am on my own with michaelsaves.com and I thought it was time for an update and there are some big changes to talk about. So let's get right to it the seven things you need to know before you sign up for YouTube TV. Number one, what is YouTube TV? I promise this section will be quick because a lot of you are familiar with YouTube TV already. It is a live TV streaming service that brings together the best of cable TV at a lower monthly price. But unlike cable and satellite, YouTube TV doesn't have expensive equipment, contracts, or hidden monthly fees. YouTube TV is available nationwide. It requires a high-speed internet connection as well as a supported device to stream to your TV set, I will have more on that a little bit later on. For now, let's move on. And we're moving on to number two. How much does YouTube TV cost? So let's get into this. YouTube TV costs $65 a month as of this recording, and that is for the base plan. If you are a regular viewer of this channel, you've already heard me talk about YouTube TV's price hikes. It launched at $35 in 2017, then it went to $40, the next price increase brought it to $50, and in 2020 it increased to $65 a month. But other live TV streaming services have also increased their prices too. Hulu Live and Fubo TV also start at $65 a month as of this recording. $65 is for the base plan, but YouTube TV has recently put a bigger focus on add-ons like Sports Plus. That package includes NFL Red Zone. HBO Max, Showtime, and Cinemax are just a few of the other add-on options. A lot of people I know are able to stick with YouTube TV's base plan, at least for most of the year. Just go easy on those upgrades if budget is your number one priority. And although there are no hidden fees, you may have to pay some taxes. Depending on where you live, YouTube TV may be required to collect sales or communications taxes. This all depends on local tax laws, so where I live, the $64.99 base plan is actually $73.55 after taxes. Now to number three. Does YouTube TV offer any deals? You have probably noticed that streaming services like Netflix are doing away with free trials, but so far not YouTube TV. Typically, new subscribers will get at least one week free. At the time of this recording, it is two weeks, and that has become more common. The best sign-up offer that I have seen is three weeks free. And if I remember correctly, that came right after one of those price hikes. And also this, a new way for T-Mobile customers to save on YouTube TV. Starting in April 2021, the phone company will offer $10 off YouTube TV every month that you are a T-Mobile customer. And this is for T-Mobile wireless and home internet customers. There is some fine print with this offer, so I will leave a link in the description below for you to learn more about that. Moving on to number four, what channels does YouTube TV carry? YouTube TV now offers more than 85 channels in its lineup, live sports, cable news, plus entertainment networks and your local stations. Let me give you a tour of the live guide to explain a little bit better. From the default view, local stations CBS, NBC, Fox, ABC, and PBS are listed at the top of the guide. Then it gets into mostly sports networks like ESPN, SEC Network, FS1, Golf Channel, and a lot more too. As of this recording, YouTube TV does not offer Bally Sports regional sports networks. Those are formally called Fox regional sports networks, but check their website, see if there are any updates on that. As we continue, kids programming like Disney, Cartoon Network, and Nick are featured. And then we get into entertainment networks geared toward adults. AMC, Comedy Central, FX, USA, Bravo, HGTV, TLC, and more. That is followed by news including CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC. Now I couldn't list every channel here, but you can go to YouTube TV's website and enter your zip code to see the full list. And if you sign up for YouTube TV, check out a related video of mine. One of the first things I recommend that you do is customize the channel lineup. You can reorder and even remove channels from the display. Find a link to my step-by-step -step tutorial in the description below. And number five, does YouTube TV include Cloud DVR? Cloud DVR is YouTube TV's secret weapon. When you sign up, you get unlimited Cloud DVR storage, no extra equipment, it is all in the cloud. You can record as many shows as you want and they are stored for up to nine months. 
And with unlimited DVR, you have the ability to create your own library that could save you from subscribing to additional on-demand services. So let me give you an example. A few weeks ago, I set a recording for House Hunters. And since then, YouTube TV has recorded all episodes of House Hunters, whether they are new or reruns. And look here, House Hunters is on season 199. From your YouTube TV library, you will be able to find your recordings as well as on-demand content. Not everything here is the DVR version. And this is important. When you see recorded, that means the show or movie is in your DVR. But when you see released, that means you'll be able to watch the on-demand version, which may still have ads. So if you want to skip commercials, just add shows to your library and select the DVR version. And by adding shows like House Hunters to your DVR, you may be able to skip a subscription to Discovery Plus, which leans heavily on library content. I have also set recordings for Friends and The Office, two popular shows that HBO Max and Peacock would like you to pay for. But by recording the cable airings, I don't have to. The thing about YouTube TV's DVR is that it's all or nothing, so you will not be able to record just a single episode or the latest season, but since the DVR is unlimited, you won't run out of storage space. Number six, how can I stream YouTube TV? YouTube TV is available to stream from a phone, computer, or to a TV set with a supported device. And the good news, there are a lot of supported devices with YouTube TV. In my video for first time cord cutters, I recommend affordable Roku devices under $50. Those are great to stream YouTube TV. And a few regulars of my channel also like Roku Ultra that's about $100 though. But if you're not into Roku, you can stream YouTube TV with Google Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV Stick, and Apple TV, among others. And although I recommend streaming media players for the user experience, you may not need one if you have a smart TV from one of these brands. The YouTube TV app may be pre-installed or available for download. For streaming on the go, Android and Apple devices are supported. Just know that streaming uses up a lot of data. That is why I have an unlimited plan with Verizon-owned Visible. For 25 bucks a month, I get unlimited talk, text, and data, including 5G. If you are looking for a new phone plan, see my review link down below. But back to YouTube TV and number seven, can my family share YouTube TV? I mentioned at the top of this review that YouTube TV is great for first-time cord cutters, and that is true both for individuals and families. With the YouTube TV base plan, you get three simultaneous streams. So that means you could have three devices using YouTube TV at the same time from within your household. And there are up to six accounts per household. The family manager can add up to five people to YouTube TV and everyone will get their own viewing preferences and DVR. But this is important. To join a family group, you must live in the same household as the family manager. One YouTube TV account per household. And now for some final thoughts. YouTube TV has the best overall channel lineup among live TV streaming services, plus that unlimited DVR and three simultaneous streams. The user experience, it's also very simple and cable-like. As you can see, there are just three tabs. Home is in the center, and then to the left is your library or DVR, and to the right, it is the live guide. For some, YouTube TV's price may be a concern, and then I would recommend services like Sling TV or Philo. I've got an article on michaelsaves.com that I update with the latest pricing to help you compare the best live TV streaming options. You can check that out in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. If you got something out of it, please like it, and let me know your thoughts about YouTube TV in the comments below. I always like reading your comments there. See you next time for another video.